hi guys it's blake homie today i am back with another video so today i'm going to be talking about my retired piercings i don't have that many but uh okay well my first retired piercing is my lip piercing and i took that out because first of all i just don't think it looked good on me the ring i had in was too big and it was just mm, and it chipped one of my teeth uh right here chipped it and I was just like you know what we're over this and my face felt cluttered so I was like we're taking this out I just I can't do this anymore my next retired piercing is my smiley piercing everyone still thinks I have this and still ask questions about it and I don't have it because it would constantly get plaque on it and like I brushed my teeth like seven times a day when I had my smiley and that wasn't good and it had so much plaque on it and I like couldn't get rid of it I would like brush for like five minutes straight and use mouthwash I was just there's still a plaque on it it was really annoying so I just took it out I don't know maybe there's something wrong with my mouth if I could have it again and like not get so much plaque on it I would have it because I really like smiley piercings okay wait I lied I have like four retired piercings so I also pierced my tongue web and like I took it out the day I pierced it because it it got so swollen and I was just like, uh, and the jewelry would not stop falling out. Okay, so the next piercing would be my belly button piercing. Um, that one, like, rejected. Like, it got infected and it was just like, I'm not sure if it got infected or if it was just like rejecting. I'm not sure what rejecting looks like, but that wasn't working out for me. It was looking bad, so... I tried to just like um, keep cleaning it, like clean it constantly and take care of it better, but it was not working out for me, so I just took it out. The other times I took it out, I think it was because I didn't like the placement. I really want to pierce it again, but I'm going to be going through scar tissue and that's just, I'm scared to do that. Like I'm not scared of the pain, I'm just like, ugh, like what if I want to take it out when I'm older? And I already have this scar here. I'm just so broken. Okay, I have one more. Well, technically, I have all of my ear piercings over here retired. Um, but I'm just going to talk about this one because a lot of people always have questions about cartilage piercings. I don't recommend getting cartilage piercings. I feel like facial piercings, they're easy. They heal fast, but ear piercings are always a hit or miss. They hurt to sleep on and they don't heal for like six months to a year and it just sucks, especially cartilage piercings. They hurt so much. Like, even if you take care of them, they're usually just terrible. There's people with good experiences with cartilage piercings, but I've never had good experiences with them. This one took the longest to heal. I'm glad this one healed. But I pierced this and I had had it for almost a year. And it was like, one night it was just throbbing, and I was like, you know what, I can't do this, I have to take it out, I can't live like this anymore. So, <laughs> those are all of my retired piercings, um, I don't think I have any more. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.